Hey hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today I thought I would test out the new Thamaron Scepter at Lava Dragons. So the Thamaron Scepter is a new uh, weapon dropped by Revenants. It's considered to be the worst of the new three weapons and there's a pretty good reason for that. It does give you a magic damage boost so you will hit higher. However, it also gives you a magical accuracy boost which um, doesn't really come into play that much because you're generally attacking things that have zero or low magic defense anyway. So you don't really gain much from that stat. So if we compare the Thamron Scepter to the Trident of the Swamp, which is a similar weapon, the Thamron Scepter requires one Revenant Ether to attack and um, whatever runes you're going to use for whatever spell. On top of that, I'm using the Tome of Fire, so I will need an extra bit of money for the Burnt Pages. The cost per cast for the Thamron Scepter with Fire Wave is about 683 if you do do Fire Surge, it'd be probably about 800. If you compare that to the Trident, it's pretty similar. The Trident cost per cast is about 650, so it's a little bit more expensive. However, the max hit is quite a bit higher. The big problem here is the risk. I'm risking an extra 118k worth of Revenant Ether, plus whatever's in my inventory right now. So the risk is 130k plus 118, so it's about 250k I'm risking. And if you compare that to the risk you use when you're bringing your trident it's only about 50 to 100k at most so we've opted to bring the occult necklace the tome of fire and the thamron scepter we're really cutting out any potential uh, defensive bonuses we're just going to try not to get attacked uh, because i think we're going to die anyway so we brought items that will make us do the most damage i think i can probably hit a 40 with this setup we're going to take advantage of the rune lights zoom feature which will hopefully help us keep alive so anyway let's get started so we're pretty much going to constantly have our mouse over the hop world function because if i get attacked I'm kind of screwed. Now, like I said, the Thamron Scepter can hit a max hit of 40, which is extremely high. So we brought the Anti-Dragon Fire Shield just to get into position. There's a little spot you can save spot the Lava Dragons. And that's important because if uh, you're attacking them, you're going to die because um, you won't be able to log out quickly if someone is hopping in there to kill you. So I've also used the Rune Light plugin to get rid of all these extra drops everywhere because they're kind of annoying. So we hit 37, 40, there we go. 40 with this new weapon. That's pretty amazing. I think that's not quite double it's probably 50 percent more than what the trident could hit at max and we're just going to keep the looting bag open because it'll be easier just to pick up the drops like that all right there's our first kill let's just give it a try for the first one adamant two ander not too bad <laughs> and again because of how in focus we have to be on the mini map i'm not going to worry about crushing the items or anything we're just going to bank and run back here as quickly as possible so we started off with about a thousand burnt pages and that's how i'm going to keep track of how many charges i use and obviously the amount of bones will keep track of how many um, dragons we kill. So we keep a tally of that and add them up at the end. So unfortunately I'm kind of a noob and I don't have unlocked the stepping stone shortcut. That would help out greatly and probably at that point I bring more defensive gear. Right now I'm kind of fucked to be honest if I get attacked. I'm going to be totally honest here. Before I started the video I died literally running to the blaze. So it's definitely a high risk activity. But this is going to be showing hopefully if you don't die. Uh, what the potential reward can be for using the Thamron Scepter and what the potential GP per hour can be. But it's pretty important that you don't die because it's going to ruin your your hour if you do, unfortunately. Also doing this later at night would be better too. I was going to do it last night, but I just didn't have the energy to. So now we're doing it uh, peak time pretty much. So it's not going to get any worse than this. And it does seem like 40 is my max hit. So that's a pretty nice even, very high max hit for a magic weapon. Plus you're so accurate because of these having no magic defense and you do get the magical accuracy bonus even if it doesn't do a whole lot okay so that will be our first inventory done we'll go ahead and pick up all these drops perfect and let's get the fuck out of here before we die so that used about 160 charges so i attacked 160 times and i killed 13 lava dragons let's just do a quick price check didn't get anything spectacular either 175k, not bad for the first inventory. Okay, so we're back at the Lava Dragon Isle, and it took about 15 minutes to do a run, so hopefully we can do four of these in an hour, and hopefully we can get some better drops. Okay, so much really kind of got interrupted on that run. Um, we're just going to have to go back and bank, I think. It's kind of annoying, but I didn't die, so that was pretty impressive. I almost took him out with a stupid Thamaron Scepter. Like I said earlier, the experience per hour is quite good, including banking times and downtimes. I'm at about 40k magic experience per hour, which is not amazing compared to other methods, but considering this is a money-making method and you're getting lots of combat experience, actually makes this almost viable to almost say. Now I'm finished this inventory. I got harassed a bit more this time, but I think we may have gotten a little bit better drops. So this time we managed to get a rune longsword, 
a rune full helm, and I think another rune item in the uh, looting bag. We're at about 26 minutes left, so that took a little bit longer. That being said, we did have to run away from the Bikair once, and we did manage to bank that stuff. So we're probably on track to do about four full inventories an hour. So the Thamron Scepter does kill them quicker than the Trident by far, and my max hit does seem to be 40. Which is so nice. He ripped through those Lava Dragons. I think I have five hit a Lava Dragon pretty much. Okay, let's have a quick look in the looting bag. We're looking at... I uh, didn't get too much, unfortunately, but that's okay. Now, if you do these on a Slayer task, you're going to hit even more. I kind of wanted to try that, but getting in a Lava Dragon Slayer task is apparently impossible. Nah, it's just pretty rare, to be honest. Okay, there we go. That's our next inventory done. Uh, pretty sketchy, this one. A lot of people are trying to kill me, but... We're full, and let's get the hell out of here. I literally tried to kill that last dragon like four times. I had to hop that many times. So it's kind of packed right now, but if you're paying attention, you can get away. So this was another very lackluster inventory. Uh, well, we got some rune items, uh, but we're looking for the onyx bolt tips. And uh, really, even like fire orbs or anything that has value to it would be nice. But let's go bank this. We'll maybe have enough time to fit in one more inventory. Probably not a full one. Probably have to telly out, but let's see what we can do. Yeah, there we go, guys. We got a drop of Onyx Bolt Tips. Finally, I was hoping for that at least once. And we only have four minutes left. Um, so we're going to kill a few more dragons, then we will go bank. Hey, I just got in the hit points level, actually. There's level 91 hit points. Uh, crazy. Actually getting 20k HP experience an hour as well. I'm just not used to actually getting, well, experience while you're using an item like this. The Trident only gets, like, 10k 15k experience an hour um depending on a few factors but still the extra xp is nice and that is it guys that's gonna be our last lava dragon kill we have about a minute and eight seconds left or something like that so let's get the hell out of here we don't need this chocolate cake and we managed to do one full hour of lava dragons without dying thankfully so if i were to guess i'd say this is a bit of a lackluster uh, hour of lava dragons i did get the onyx bolt tips uh, but overall i got a ton of coin drops so let's go see how much gp we made in the hour how many lava dragons we killed and how much experience we got okay guys so this is what we got from loot from one hour of killing lava dragons with the thamaron scepter let's just go price check it quickly here so one mil okay that's not so bad nothing spectacular we did get like I said, the Onyx Bolt. Um, but that's not that great, to be honest. So we got one mil an hour in loot. If we go check our Tome of Fire, uh, it's holding 232 charges. So we used about 750 charges, which within the hour, that's about 500k we used on supplies. So quite a bit. So we made about 500k an hour here. Um, but we also got about 55k magic experience in the hour which is quite good for a magic training method. So we managed to kill 52 Lava Dragons in the hour, which is quite a lot. And the loot wasn't that great for that. So I think you could get like 1.5 mil an hour here, uh, which would bring up the per hour to about 1 mil, which would be pretty good. Overall, I'm probably getting about 10 or 15 kills more an hour uh, with this over the Trident. However, overall, is it worth it? Probably not. The risk factor is a pretty big factor at Lava Dragons, especially. You're risking an extra... 150k pretty much plus you need two items to achieve this you need the tomo fire and the thamron scepter instead of just the toxic trident so i think they could change this weapon to maybe hit a little bit higher uh which would maybe account for the risk maybe you can use it for pk and i don't know but i might not bring it to lava dragons again go away. anyway guys that's about it i might go try this at crazy archaeologist later if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave it a like if you want to see that maybe leave a comment and i will see you next time